on Zoom. I'm just kind of curious with the sheer amount of games that you've played at this point, how it like affects the way that you kind of maybe appreciate or take in what, what you guys have done so far this season. Yeah, I mean, I've been a part of however many teams and, you know, just all the trials and tribulations of each season, you know, the, the upsetting losses and, you know, it, I mean, the amount of games that I've played and I've experienced you know, heartbreaking losses and huge wins. And just for this team to do what we've done thus far is incredible. And, you know, it's something that I, I'm trying to get everybody to continue, you know, like to get this team to continue to do what we've been doing. And, you know, I mean, I think things are looking good in that regard. Coach was talking about after the game, like the, the season where – you guys did pop up in the college football playoff rankings and, you know, kind of the lessons that were taken from, from that season. Was that 18 or 19? Okay. Yeah, 19. Um, 19, I think you guys were 19. Yeah, we, I think we were, yeah, we were ranked in yeah. the teens. I remember that. You, I mean, is that is that something that, what like, you've kind of thought about maybe as these CFP rankings are coming or just maybe the lessons you've taken from that season? Um. Yeah, I mean, we, we were doing really well that season, I remember, and then, we didn't finish strong. And Coach Clawson, he, he always talks about remember November. I mean, November is the biggest games. And, you know, the, the past few years, we haven't exactly executed highly in November. So um, I think the guys are definitely looking at November differently this year. Um, you know, and we just got to finish strong. You only had one November game last year, but it was <laughs> A memorable one for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, which which game was that? Carolina. Car yeah, Carolina. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> <God. laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, good. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the loss to Carolina last year definitely put a bad taste in our mouths. And, you know, I think um, I think a lot of the guys can agree that this is, you know, this is one of those games that we circled on the schedule. And, you know, I think we're really excited to get out there and especially we're back in Chapel Hill again this year. And that's it's exciting. So I, I think we're ready to go. Does it, does it help? Does it hurt? Is it indifferent that this is a non-conference game against an ACC team or does that factor in at all for you guys? Um, no, I mean, <laughs> I mean, we want to win the state and that's one of our goals going into the season. Um, you know, and UNC's UNC, their arrival. And I mean, we're not going to take that lightly. I mean, we're, I think we, we definitely uh, need to come out and we need to, you know, do better than we did last year against them and, and take it to them. Have you ever played with a quarterback that's been on the type of role that Sam has been on for these last few games? Um, I mean, I, just, Johnny Wolford, but I, I wasn't really ever a tight end for him. So, um, no. <laughs> no, uh, Sam's been playing great. And it's it's really, really cool to see him grow up and become the player he is today. The catch that you had on Saturday looked like, you know, I didn't even realize it until I saw the TV replay. And what goes into a play like that where he's scrambling and then all of a sudden gets the flick out to you and it's 20 yeah. yards down the field? Yeah, I mean, you know, when stuff like that happens, you know, it's just instinct. And, you know, uh, I think the the timing, Sam's timing with all of his receivers and including me and Blake, I mean, I think it's it's very well. It's very good. And, you know, in times that are critical like that, you know, third down, third and long, I mean, you just got to get open. And when you see the ball in the air and you get your opportunity, take it. And I, th I thought it was, you know, it was, it, it landed how it should have. Who's <laughs> third and long catch was better between you and Blake? Well, was Blake's on third down? Yeah. Shoot. But Blake got some good uh, yards after catch. Though. I might give it to Blake. <laughs> Shoot. All right. We'll turn it over to Zoom here. Hey, Brandon, when, when you decided to come back 
for this season when you decided that in December or January? Is this the type of season you had in mind, or is or is this far exceed anything that you could have even thought about? Um, you know, it's always a goal going into the season, you know, that we want to win the ACC. And, you know, just just the track that we're on right now is truly incredible. And I don't want to say that I'm exceeding expectations, but, I mean, it's it's very real. And and it's, you know, it's, it's something to be proud of, but we're not done yet. Was there a point in spring or fall camp as you saw this club kind of come together where you – we kind of realize, hey, there's some balance and and maybe we can do some things. Maybe I made a good decision and, and this could be a really fun team to, to be a part of. Yeah, I mean, preseason camp, you know, the, the whole team just kept getting better and better. You know, guys like Atorian, I mean, he was stepping up and making plays. And, you know, just the receiving core, uh, I think, has really matured. And there's guys that are making plays that, you know, are, are young. And it's, it's really cool to see. And, I just think, you know, just the way training camp went, I thought that, you know, we, we had a group of guys that, that are special, especially, I mean, we've got a lot of older guys back and the maturity of this team is unlike anything I've ever been a part of. Um, but yeah, as, as even as early as off season training, I, I, I had a feeling that this was a special group. Hey, Brandon, um, how important is it with Sam's ability to escape pressure, keep plays alive and his ability to run down the field and get positive yards. I mean, that's definitely a, a good quality to have for any quarterback and any offense, um, you know, with our RPO, very slow mesh, um, especially if the team that we're facing is in cover one. I mean, that frees up uh, Sam's running ability. And I mean, he's, he's got some wheels on him. So, I mean, it's, it's really good to see, and it's it's good to have a mobile quarterback, definitely. How important has that been for you guys this year? Um, his oh, I think it's been really important. I mean, um, it's kind of installed in our offense, um, you know, that – I mean, we have a lot of – obviously a lot of options around the board, but if the quarterback can run, that's just one more. And, you know, I, I think it's, it's definitely um, been to our benefit this year. Hey, Brandon, with the trio of running backs, it's, it's kind of alternating carries right now. How does that change what you do in terms of blocking for them? Is there anything you do different for any of the three? Or did, what have you seen in terms of their ability to just kind of pop in and out and, and kind of take care of business? Um, honestly, I, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. Sometimes I don't even know which running back's in. <laughs> you know, I just uh, – we just block as hard as we can and, you know, just sustain our blocks. And I mean, all three of those guys are incredible running backs and, you know, it doesn't matter who's in, they're going to make plays. Brandon, back to when Sam's scrambling a little bit, traditionally tight end is a guy that's a safety belt kind of guy. When he goes into, Oh boy, here we go mode. What's your thought process through that? Um, you know, if, He's if he starts to scramble and he's going, oh, oh, geez, and he makes eye contact with me, then that's that's a whole different ball game. You know, it's kind of a get open kind of unspoken rule. But when you see him run in the other direction, I just, you know, turn up field and try to find a block. I mean, he's definitely shown that he can run the ball. So <laughs> <laughs> but if but if he's on your side of the field, it's kind of an eye contact kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. it's, you know, yeah. if he makes eye contact, you know, that's, you know, just get open. <laughs> that's all. That's about it. Hey, Brandon, um, you know, as you guys win each week and uh, you get more attention and maybe there's some more distraction out there, you talked about how mature this team is and, and the one and oh mentality. Does it get harder to, to do that? Or, or do you feel confident that this team is so mature that even the younger guys have, have bought in and it's ingrained? that everything else is pushed aside. Yeah, uh, I mean, definitely the temptation's there, but I mean, we, we just, you know, we keep reminding each other, like put on the blinders. I mean, anything that anyone's saying, you know, it, anything that's spoken outside of that team meeting room or in those meeting rooms, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it's all about what we believe in and what we think we can do. And, 
you know, really that, that's all that matters. And I think the guys have a good grasp on that. Do, do the coaches have to keep repeating that for you guys? Or is that um, a player? No, review? I mean, Coach Coach, Cla Coach Clausen talks about it sometimes, but, um, you know, I, I don't think that he needs to, to repeat it and he hasn't repeated it. Uh, I think it's something that, you know, the older guys, you know, just remind the younger guys about. A lot of the younger guys don't even need to be told. So they, they just, they kind of know. <clears throat> Thanks. Anything else for Brandon? All right. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? Yes, pretty good. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Surround the stubble. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm sure a lot of people are just kind of curious about, you know, the national attention weight's getting right now, but just more broadly, like how do you balance – the external praise versus the internal praise. I think a uh, uh, big motto that we always like to go by is just go one and zero in the week, and you know I think that that helps us kind of block all, a lot of that outside noise, and you know just focus on our opponent that week, you know take care of business, go one and zero that week, you know, and then the next week, and keep building, building, building. Like, can you find value in the fact that like you guys are ranked as high as you are right now, or? Um, I think, you know, honestly, it's great. Obviously, a lot of recognition and stuff, but, um, you know, it's, to us, it's not a surprise at all. Um, you know, this is this is our goal, and our goal is even higher than this. You know, I mean, our goal is to be playing on January 10th. So, you know, um, with that in mind, we just keep going, you know, about our business. Given, given where you came from last year, are you kind of – uniquely situated to handle some national attention? <laughs> um, you know, like like I said, I just I you know try and go with with what the team does and, and stuff. You know, I mean, the outside noise is great and stuff. You can you know, for me that's uh that's fun for my friends and family back home. But uh, you know, this is you know our, our team and 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 we're keep going strong. What are some of the things you hear from friends and family back home? You know, just just excited. You know, I know. Uh, uh, we definitely gained uh, some more followers. You know, I think I was on call with my dad today, and he told me about the, our neighbor that was knocking on our door, telling him about all of, uh, the weight uh, players and stuff, how he's a big fan. So, you know, it's good to see that support coming from everywhere. How quickly in that new game did you kind of realize as a defense that um, maybe things were, were setting up better than the previous two games? Well, um. I think it was before the Duke game, and it was, you know, on Sunday after the Army game. You know, everyone came in. You know, we, we didn't just pout and hit our heads. We we made it a goal that, you know, you know this is not going to happen again. We're going to take this and learn from it and improve on it. And I think that whole week in practice, you know, we got after it, you know, hard. And, and you know, now we take that kind of – that experience and just kind of keep going in there. And, and, and now it's, you know, the goal is a shutout every week, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Remember in fall camp, you mentioned wanting to play with Nasir, mm -hmm. so it took until game eight to make that happen. <laughs> yep. Um, now that's finally here, it's 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 been great. You know, the little little chance we got. You know, some some stuff in practice is real fun, but um, you know, it's it's really great to 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 play with him. You know, because you know, kind of see the game certain you know the same way a little bit. Um, and, and it's it's really fun to fly around with him. Oh right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean we're we're both interchangeable, you know, kind of um, you know here and there. So um, you know it, that's what that's what helps when you kind of you know know a lot about the defense. You can you know play in um, various roles, and you know we we both know the defense pretty extensively. So you know it's fun when we're both out there. There's a there's a lot of preparation that goes into it. Yep. <laughs> All right, we'll turn it over to Zoom here.
Nick, how much more comfortable were you Saturday being able to get back into the base Wake Forest defense and, and face a team that's not thrown that option against you guys? It seemed like you're really flying around the field. Yeah, um, you know, when you've been practicing something for, you know, eight, nine, ten months, you know, it, it really has come natural versus the defense you've kind of had to put in, you know, really only on two weeks notice, you know, it's hard anytime. Um, but, you know, we're constantly fine tuning our defense. There's some stuff we took away from Duke that we like to improve on. So, you know, we're constantly looking to improve that that part of our defense. When defensive players or coaches talk about playing fast on defense, does does that mean being more instinctual? Is that what that means, Nick? Um, I think it's just, you know, for, first off, it's knowing your assignment inside and out. You know your assignment, you know all the checks to it. You know, that allows you to play, you know, confident. And, and you know, so you know exactly what you're doing. You know your job. And then, you know, from there, it's just executing your technique and getting numbers to the ball. Um, you know, so in that case, if someone does, you know, miss a tackle or, you know, it, you know gets kind of, you know, um, the ball carried goes some way that we didn't think he would, we have multiple guys surrounding them. And, you know, that's when we're playing fast, you know, we're, we're active and, you know, the offense does not want to have the ball in their hands. What are you all seeing on the tape from North Carolina? What's going to make them a dangerous matchup for you guys on Saturday? I mean, you know, anytime you have a, you know, a, a team that's filled with, you know, a lot of talent and, and you know, a lot of special players, um, you know, obviously, you know, a very good offense, you know, and, and the quarterback receivers, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they have the whole, you know, starting line back and then, you know, two very good running backs. Um, you know, it's going to be a challenge, but that's 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 what we knew is, you know, going to be. And, and, and you know, there's a little bit of, a, um, you know, kind of we like to get back at them for, 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 for our performance last year on the defensive side. Um, so it should be a great game. We talk about the performance last year. I have to feel you feel a little bit of that yourself personally, right? You didn't have probably what you consider your best about ends against North Carolina. How do you hope to kind of make that better this season? Yeah, well, you know, um, you know, a lot, a lot more experience and, and, and stuff and, you know, kind of feel comfortable, a lot more comfortable in, in, in certain roles that I am in uh, now. And, you know, it's just kind of putting it all together and, and um, you know, going out there and just playing with, with my feel and, and, you know, just going out there and trying to help the team win. And Nick, uh, how nice was it for you guys as a unit to perform the way you did against Duke and coming off that performance, moving on to uh, Carolina? Yeah, it was it was very um, it was very good for us, you know, personally, just kind of from a, a confidence standpoint, you know, defense as a whole. Um, you know, we we it um, it's not that we ever lost trust in one another. I think that almost proves how much we do trust one another and, you know, to bounce back after, you know, our, the performance at Army and, and come back and, 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 you know, hold Duke to seven points. Um, I, I think it really, you know, is a testament to how much, you know, we obviously, you know, care and, and prepare about, you know, well, you know, this, our, our defense as a whole, but how much we trust each other as a group and, you know, hey, okay, we, we didn't perform that well, we'll bounce back. And, you know, um, it was great to see you last Saturday. You mentioned the confidence. Have you noticed that in the in the room, you know, since, you know, Duke, that, you know, a little bit of extra confidence? Yeah, I mean, we've been back to uh, back back to our rhythm, you know, kind of mentioned earlier, you know, it was, you know, back to the defense we've been running for, you know, eight to nine, ten months now. So it was it was it was good to be back. What do you remember about the game against Carolina last year? Um, you know, obviously. Um, the game against Carolina last year was was a you know a learning experience. I think both for for me and a lot of players um, on the defensive side of the ball. Um, obviously, they were you're very very talented. You know, with a lot of NFL um, people on there. Um, you know, for me personally, you know that kind of that was a big motivating factor for me in the off season. Um, you know, just in terms of you know my physical capability and stuff. You know, I, I was pretty outmatched. I think. Um, last year, just in terms of physically wise, um, but but you know now um, I'm you know just kind of ready to step up in my role and you know show my improvements. It's fair when you look at where the guys that you were chasing last year are now mm -hmm. compared to where you are. Yeah, um, you know, uh, to me, I kind of just try and pride myself. It really doesn't matter if I'm you know playing against Julio Jones, I'm going to try and, you know, shut him down and do whatever I can. So, um, you know, obviously 
but we'll take that into account. That happened last year, and it's always in the back of my mind personally. Do the coaches have to remind you what happened last year, or is that just kind of been in everybody's mind? I think it's 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 obviously something that's been, you know, all of our performances last year that weren't, weren't up to our standard. You know, we, we want to prove ourselves as, you know, one of the best defenses in the ACC, if not the country. And, you know, so this is an opportunity to go out and show it. You're proving you're one of the best teams in the country, and you talked about the outside noise nationally. How about locally? How about on campus? When you walk into class, when you're walking across the quad, uh, is the student body turned out so great last weekend and it has all season. Are, is there a heightened awareness? Are you feeling that? Is the, is the campus caught up in it? Yeah, the support's been great, you know, from, from obviously the students, you know, professors to even, you know, some of the people who are just working here, the, you know, the cafeteria and stuff. It, it, it's been really great to see, um, and, you know, just keep on winning. So you're getting extra portions and you like it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It helps me keep my weight up during the year. So I like it. Nick, how, how much fun has this season been? I mean, everybody plays because you want to win. But if it's not fun, it's it's almost like you don't want to play. How much fun has this season been for you guys? It, it's been really fun, you know, just, you know, obviously the football and stuff and our results have been. But just, you know, kind of from a locker room you know, standpoint, too, you know, last year, you know, we really didn't get didn't get that, you know, camaraderie and stuff, you know, of hanging out in the locker room and just kind of, you know, getting to know everyone. And I think that's been a, a great thing for us this year is um, we've really been able to come together and, and build friendships, you know, off the field as well. Um, and, and I think it's showing on our play on the field. That's all good. All right. Thanks, Nick. Great. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.